Hello and welcome to this ACT webinar on the ACT Career Hub. I'm Darren Heath and joining me to talk about this is Louise Tatham, Head of Professional Development at the ACT. Louise, can we start with the history of the ACT's Career Hub? When did you launch it and what's been the response? Well, we launched the Career Hub way back in uh, 2015 as a free member resource to support the business and behavioural skills in the ACT competency framework. We were very aware that we had lots of information for the technical area in the competency framework, but we wanted to provide extra support for the business and behavioural skills. Um, we currently have about 100 to 120 members who access the Career Hub every month, and this works out at, at them doing about uh, 1,500 activities every month. Since we started the Career Hub, we've had about 2,000 members who've accessed the content there, and we've completed 24,000 activities, which is a really good, really big number. Fantastic. And you said it's a free resource for 80 members? How do they access it? Yes, it is a free resource, um, and all members need to do is log into their ACT account, and then they'll be able to use the Career Hub. If you've forgotten your login, please don't worry. You can just contact the membership team. It's probably best to email us at membership at treasurers.org, or you can change your password yourself on the website at treasurers.org slash user, and then be able to access that website. Okay, so you launched in 2015. But in 2018, uh, you added a new facility, right, the, the Task Manager tool. Can you tell us a bit about this? Yes, this is a really good tool that, prov uh, that takes all the content we have throughout the Career Hub and matches it to the competency framework. So you can work through the different resources we have within an area, and those resources range from anything from a five-minute top tip to a 40-minute in-depth kind of master's level webinar. Um, and then when you work through the, the different tasks and the different areas, you can actually, when you complete an area, receive a CPD certificate of completion. So the whole point of the task manager tool is show, to show you what content we have in any area, where you are along that, so how much you've completed, how much you still need to do, and then once you complete a section, you can get a certificate of completion, and then you can use that for your CPD record, you can use it to show your employees what your... Um, what you've done and what you've achieved over that past year or, or however long the framework is, and it's basically a way to record your professional development. Right. Now, many members, when, when they hear the term career hub, will think of this as a tool they can use when they're looking for a new role, uh, but it's not just for that, is it? No, you're right. So there are lots of CV building tools on the Career Hub. Um, there's information on how to write a cover letter, um, how to get through assessment centers, um, how to prepare for an interview, but that's just a really small part of the Career Hub. Um, we really wanted to provide content in the, um, in the core business and behavioral skills area of the competency framework, and therefore we have a lot of resources from articles, vid videos, webinar, webinars, quick learning bites on these aspects, on this business and behavioral aspects of the competency framework. So there's just a huge amount of information on uh, management, business, and career skills and we've also got information on corporate responsibility, presentations, negotiation skills. There's so much content in there. It's really much more than just a job, um, a CV job tool. Right. And, uh, am I right in thinking that some of the content is from the Ashridge Business School? Well? Yes, that's right. So we have some master's level content on the Career Hub, and that is provided by Ash Ashridge Business School. That's in the career e-learning section found in the My Learning area of the Career Hub. And the content uh, has information on business and process management, project management, teams and diversity, um, leadership theory and practice, a whole range of information. What you'll find with the Ashridge Business School content is that that tends to be um, slightly meatier. It takes a little bit longer to work through that content. So you would need to assign 15, to 40, 15 minutes to 40 minutes to go through the different sections within the Ashridge Business content. But yes, there is um, quite a lot of really interesting in-depth information in there. Okay, so well, let's have a let's see what it looks like. Uh, you, using the PowerPoint slides then, Louise, can you talk us through the key areas of yes. the Career Hub? Yes, so um, I'm going to go through all the different areas of the Career Hub now using the PowerPoint slides as well. Um, 
they, I won't be able to go into a huge amount of depth on this. So if anyone does have any questions, please do email me either at cpd at treasurers.org or lkatham at treasurers.org, and my details will be at the end of this presentation as well. But if I start um, with the very first slide, the first thing to say is that you can reach the Career Hub either via the main ACT website or treasurers.org, um, sorry, careers.treasurers.org slash members. And then what I tend to do is I tend to use the top, the top purple navigation. And if we start at the beginning, if we go to My Careers, the first drop down is Career Assessments. Um, now, there are, there are lots of useful insights into how you work and how you um, interact with your team or with uh, co colleagues or with um, uh, uh, other stakeholders that you work with. And the assessments, team, the assessments area helps you to understand how you work. So um, what you would need to do is you need to answer a number of tailored questions and then you receive a report at the end of that. And that provides information um, about you, but also about your working environment and how to maximize your relationships with colleagues and other stakeholders. So for example, if you look at the temperament assessment, it will tell you your type in relation to being an extrovert or an introvert, uh, sensing versus intuition, thinking versus feeling, and judging versus perceiving. So it's like the Myers-Briggs criteria, that sort of thing. Yes, yes, that's right. Um, but it doesn't just tell you about yourself. It then tells you how to work with other types to ensure that you get the most out of your working relationship. So it doesn't just tell you about you. It tells you about you in relation to others. Now, there are 14 assessments on the uh, Career Hub right now. Um, I've mentioned temperament. We have workplace culture, motivation at work, uh, sound decision making, assertiveness. It's really worth having a look because there might be just one or two of those assessments that might just give you a little bit of information about yourself to help you work a little bit better. Yeah, that, that look, all looks really useful, I think, from a career development perspective. You can see the value of taking the assessments. Uh, can't, can't you? I think they can really help you to understand how you can work with colleagues and appreciate their perspectives, as well as your own strengths and, and dare I say, any areas for your own in improvement. So uh, what's the next area within the My Career section? So if we carry on going down the My Career section, the next year on Career Pathways, um, the screenshot will show you what that looks like. Like this provides information on different career paths, and it might be useful if you're thinking of moving into a new team or a new industry. Then the third drop down is a career where you can add tasks and importantly with deadlines so that you can monitor your progress. Um, and it's a really useful way of seeing what your goals are and where you want to get within a specific time frame. And then following on from that, the rest of the drop downs under my career. Um, are a take you back to ACT content. So they look at a career in Treasury, the AT ACT mentoring scheme, the, a the career transition service, and then the competency framework as well. Okay, so that's the My Career section. What's the next section in the top navigation? Level? Okay, so the next one is actually the last one within the Career Hub. Um, it's called My Learning, and this contains the e learning information um, and the Ashridge Business School content. So the first drop down in the, is the competency, competency Framework Resources, and this provides a match back to the content on the Career Hub. Then the second slide takes you to the Career e Learning section. You can look at the information in this section via the learning path on the left-hand side um, or the topics um, at the bottom of the left-hand side menu. So the slide we currently have shows the learning path. These look at a range of topics such as skills and preferences, CV and interviewing skills, business skills, and business education. So I've mentioned the Ashridge Business Hall, so this is an example just on the PowerPoint of how this will look, um, and that's found in the My Learning Business Education section just in this, in this area. So I've mentioned before that you can look at this information on here um, 
in different ways. I tend to look at it in terms of the topics, and that characterizes everything we have on the Career Hub within different areas, and that's areas such as assertiveness, emotional intelligence, motivation, networking, personal brand, self-awareness, working styles, and much, much more. It's a really useful way of categorizing everything we have on the website so that you can look and search on these areas and see all the information you need just in that one place. Yes, yeah, so you can see there's a lot of information there. And, and it, it, it is useful to be able to look for things in terms of both areas and topics separately, yeah, I, I think. What's the, what's the next section? So, staying within my learning, the third drop is um, an employer advice section. So this provides information from employers um, with practical tips on areas such as interviewing, online profiles, and how to work with rec recruiters. Then the fourth drop in my learning section is an employer advice section. This provides information from employers um, with practical tips on interviewing and online profiling. Sorry, I've just the my learning section beforehand. So the fourth drop down is actually the audio podcast and it provides information on CVs, interview tips, job hunting and change and development. And then this is followed by the writ section which looks at job hunting but it also looks at what, what happens once you're in the workplace. So things like coping with stress, health and safety at work, how to um, impress your boss, things like this. So it's definitely worth having a look at. Then <clears throat> if we carry on going down the, the section, the next area is the, the, uh, is the industry guide section. That's the sixth drop down in the My Learning area. It provides SWOT analyses, trends, and top company information to help you understand more about the industry. And then the very final section in the My Learning section is the news. Now, this provides really useful short weekly updated information on the key business headlines, as well as information on the latest content added to the Career Hub. Well, My Learning certainly looks very comprehensive there. <laughs> well, Darren, it's the most visited aspect of the website. As some of the content is very short, so five to ten minutes long, members can dip in and out of it quite easily. So they can look through this on their commute if they want to, or during their lunch break, if they just want to do a little bit of professional development. Well, that's really useful, isn't it? It sounds ideal, actually. Uh, so, Louise, I understand the next section could help if you were looking to move roles, even if it's an internal move. That's right. So the next section is the My, uh, my Jobs section and this contains information on vacancies, volunteering, a company directory with links to company websites and business networking which enables you to search for people and companies. There's also information on how to use LinkedIn effectively here which can be a good overview or a refresher. And then Louise there's a section on my tools uh, which looks like the job hunting section. Yes, so the My um, Place is the place to go if you're looking for a new role. It has a CV builder, interview simulator, an intelligent career quiz, an assessment center tool, and so much more. But don't think of it as something you, you can do if you're, um, you're new to Treasury or this is a first role or second role. You can use this area of the website at any point in your career because it really does provide you useful tips and tools. And then finally, we come to the task manager tool, which we were saying you launched just in 2018. That's right. So, as I've mentioned before, takes all the content we have and um, puts it into uh, sort of skills sections. There are three skills sections, one on business skills and one on behavioral skills, and those match the competency framework. And then there's one additional one that looks at life skills. If we go into the business um, section and then click on financial management, it will come up with the different subsections and how much we've completed in each one. So once you've completed each of these, you can then download a CPD certificate of completion. It's a really good way to understand how you've worked through the content on the Career Hub um, and also to, to show what you've completed because that certificate will then show that you have finished that section. Okay, fantastic. So really something for everyone in here, I think. That we're almost at the end of the webinar. 
to go, Louise, tell us what areas in the Career Hub are the most popular to date with members? The majority of our members use the My Learning section. Um, this has the business and behavioural content that members tend to find really useful and interesting. Um, as most of the learning is in bite-sized pieces, you can dip in and out of it, so it really is very flexible. What I'm finding as well is that people are using the Task Manager tool as they find it a really useful way of recording what they've completed and how much they still have left to do on the content that we have on the website. I'm also hoping I'll get a few of, um, a few of those certificates in my CPD audit this year. And then finally, um, members who are looking to move roles do use the CV and assessment building tools. I think they're useful whether you're starting from scratch or whether you just want to update or tweak your CV a little bit because it will just help you to update it um, if you haven't looked at it for a while. Okay, fantastic. Well, that does bring us to the end of this webinar. If you have any feedback, please do email in to louise at cpd at treasurers.org. We'd love to hear from you. But for now, it just remains for me to say a big thank you to my guest, ACT's Head of Professional Development, Louise Tatham. I'm Darren Heath. Thank you for listening.